In this video, we are going to expand our world a little bit by loading in some additional libraries to R. We talked at the very beginning of this series about how to install packages, but installing a package um, is not all that you need to do, right? You need to install it so the computer has it, but you also then need to tell R that you're going to use it. And the reason is, I mean, R, I think at this time has something like 17,000 packages, and it's not just going to load them all automatically. You have to tell it which ones um, to use. It's, uh, it's sort of like, you know, you might have a bunch of um, ingredients in the supermarket, uh, but if you're making a recipe, you're only going to need, you know, five different things. So if you want to see what that looks like, you can click on the Packages tab over here. And this is the list of all the packages that you've installed. A bunch of them um, come built into R. But you'll notice there's this checkbox here. And that is telling you that it is loaded, right? Um, so I have a package that I downloaded to help create barcodes called Barcoder. Um, but it's not loaded right now. So if I try to use it, it would say, oh, there's no... Um, this function cannot be found and so forth, or the baby names package and so forth. Um, and to load a package, it's really easy. Now you could do it by hand by clicking a checkbox and you can see that happens down here. It tells library DB plier uh, and I can uncheck it and it will say, okay, detach, which is to remove it. But that is a bit tedious. We want to do it as part of our code. So the package I want to load today is the, um, what's it called? The gap minder. Where is that? Gap minder. Gap minder. There it is. So this is some really cool data. So I'm going to clear all this out. Um, and I am going to actually, I'm just going to do a quick command here to clear the memory um, of R. So we have a blank slate. So I'm going to type library gap minder. And when I run this, you'll see now that has the checkbox next to it. And that loads the gap minder package. I'm also going to load the tidyverse package tidyverse. Nothing's going to really happen for most of them. I mean, it, tidyverse has a lot of things, so it's telling you, you know, the, all the different things that it's loading. Um, but really, the only difference you might notice is that checkbox. Now, if I go down to tidyverse, uh, which is somewhere, oh no, it, it's it's probably, um, tidyverse is a series of packages. So like read r is part of the, the tidyverse, per, uh, per is part of the tidyverse. So it's, it's loading those eight tidyverse packages. Um, so you'll see those checkboxes. So now that I've loaded them, I can use all the functions and things that are built into the, um, those packages. So Gapminder, for example, is a great data set on um, life expectancy and GDP across the world over time. So I'm going to create an object called data, and I'm going to give it the Gapminder data set. And now I see in my environment window, I have this object called data with 1,700 observations of six variables. And if I click on it to view it, I can sort of see what the um, data set looks like. So I have countries, continents, year. So that's sort of my like descri describing what the observation is. And then these values of life expectancy in years, population, and then GDP per capita. Uh, and then you, you, know, you, you can see it's right now it's organized alphabetically. So like Afghanistan, I can see the life expectancy from 1952 all the way up to 2007. And, oh, it looks like it's going up. And we're going to talk about graphing that a bit later. Um, but it's always an important first step. This is often the first thing you see in anyone's code are the libraries they're going to use. I almost basically always load the tidyverse library. Um, there are some others that I use a lot. Typically, there will be four or five. I think the most I've ever had is, is 10 because you can see there are hundreds to choose from. And you don't need to slow down the computer by loading all of them. So that is how we uh, load the packages that we've installed.